So today we're going to learn how to do a two-hand tie. For this, we'll need our knot tying board, our practice string, or you can use suture. Oh, silk ties work best. And gloves are optional, but I highly recommend them. It's always best to practice a skill the same way you're going to execute it in the operating room. Now you can use this skill to secure any knot, and most attendings and residents will actually want you to show mastery of this knot first before moving on to other ties, such as a one-handed tie. To start, we'll put our knot tying board in front of us, and we'll thread our practice string behind the side that has the Penrose drain. I'm gonna put my blue side of my string on the left side and the white side of my string on my right side. Now the key to making this knot is making L's and C's with our hands. And what I mean by that is for the beginning part of this knot, we're gonna make two L's with both our hands. And when we move on to the second part, we're gonna make two C's with both our hands. So what that looks like is if we pick up our string, making two L's with both of our hands, our string is going to be draped as such around our index finger, and this is how we're going to start our knot. Now, if you're right-handed, your right hand is going to be the post, and your left hand is gonna be the hand that moves first. If you're left-handed, no worries. We're gonna make a whole set of videos just to demonstrate that as well. To start, what we'll do is we'll take the string that's in our left hand, and we'll cross it over our right index finger to make an X. From here, we're going to pinch our thumb and our index finger together, and we're going to rotate our fingers so our thumb goes through the loop and our index finger comes out on top. Once again, we'll rotate our fingers so now our thumb is on the bottom and our index finger is on the top. From here, we can unpinch our thumb and our index finger and we can use our left hand to drape the blue end of our string, laying it over top our thumb. We'll once again pinch our thumb and our index finger together, and we'll rotate our fingers back to where they started, this time bringing the blue side of the string with us. Now, if you notice, this isn't exactly a square knot. If we didn't cross our strings in the beginning, what we'll have to do is cross our hands here. So I'll cross my hands to lay down a nice square knot. Now this is just one half of our knot. In order to continue throwing square knots, what we'll have to do is switch to making the C's that we talked about before. So to do this, you'll pick up the same side of the string and the same hand that you had before. So for me, the blue side is in my left hand and the white side is in my right hand. But instead of making L's this time, we'll make C's with the string draped around our thumb as such. Once again, if we're throwing right-handed ties, what we'll do is we'll take our left hand and we'll cross it over the string that's on our right thumb to make an X, very similar to what we did before. We'll pinch our thumb and our index finger together and we'll once again rotate them through the knot. So now our thumb is on top and our index finger is on the bottom. We'll unpinch our index finger and our thumb and using our left hand, we'll take the blue string and we'll drape it over our index finger. We'll once again pinch our index finger and our thumb with the blue string in between them, and we'll rotate our hands back through, bringing the blue end of the string with us. Now, since we crossed our hands last time, we don't need to cross our hands this time to go ahead and throw down a nice square knot. To continue, you'll move back to making your L's with both of your hands to throw your next knot, and then back to your C's for the knot after that, alternating back and forth your L's and C's for each knot, so that way then you'll always throw square knots. And that is how you do a two-handed knot tie.